Hey folks, today I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side view of StreamYard unpaid for and StreamYard paid for. Take a look at this right here. If you take a look here, you can see on this side we have, this is just my StreamYard with just a Yahoo account that I have. I just set it up just for the fun, just to see. And you can see that I have my Facebook profile and my YouTube channel profile. Now, over here I have the Tinkering With Tech. This is our StreamYard account and we have all kinds, Facebook, Facebook page, Facebook group, YouTube channel, Periscope, Tinkering With Tech, Periscope. We've got two different ones. I have Restream, okay, this is a key one uh, because I wanna do to multiple places and then Craft Shack has theirs in here too. So Heather has hers as well. If you go over here on the de destination, when you add a destination, when you try to add uh, Restream, so you can connect, Restream allows you to connect to more than one thing at once so you can stream out to different places. It asks you to sign up. You have to upgrade to get that. So that's 1.2 paid for account and zero points to the other. We're going to keep score. Maybe not. All right, here we go. I will show you restream on this other one. When I go over here to restream, you can see that I have Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube all simulcasting going at the same time. That is a feature of restream that StreamYard takes advantage of. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a broadcast. I'm going to do a test in YouTube. And I can schedule it for later. This is the same features. You got the same features. I can do this. I can do the same thing on this side. I'm going to enter this broadcast studio. It's going to probably look for this camera. It's going to look for camera. I'm not worried about the camera and mic. We're going to allow it. Sure. There's my Michael Deed. We're not going to worry about video right now. We're just worrying about what features each has. And this is uh, tinkering. No, this one's actually, I'll make this one mine, and I'll make this tinkering. The reason I want to do that so you can kind of see the two differences. So when I go in this room, maybe I should get a camera on here. Let me go to settings. Let me go to the OBS camera. Let me go to my other C920, if it will. Yep. Okay. I have two C920, so that's why I can do that. So over here on the right, you see I have tinkering. On the left, you see I have just a regular account. I can bring my camera in. You can see both accounts can do that, no problem. All of them have the same features as far as down here in the settings. Nothing changes. I have all the same options, choosing the cameras, uh, my sound, etc., all that kind of stuff. Same features on this side. <laughs> when I go to settings, nothing changes for the paid account, so we're all equal. Screen share, they're both able to screen share. I will screen share my, and I can choose which monitor. I have five monitors, so I will go to my fifth monitor and choose it here. You will see it has the screen share ability, and that's my voice meter going over there, so you can see that. I will show you that on the paid account, you do it get the exact same feature over here boom does the same thing so there you go um, so we have the same features basically all down at the bottom and those kind of things and remember these are scrunched up windows because of uh, me doing uh, tests so you can see side by side now here's when it gets kind of interesting we can always bring comments on screen from either side now, remember, I, I did this one on YouTube. I didn't do the restream one, but it would pull in comments from those three that I pulled up, if you remember, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Now, here's where it gets interesting. On the banner side, can still do the same things on either side. If I add a banner here, keep in mind, see that color, see what we have over here. If I go to banners and I click something, see right there, it's blue, etc. We're going to look and see what kind of features and what kind of properties and things we can do. So can I change the color on the free account? I know I can change it here because you can see the blue and it's different with the white text, etc. What happens over here? Can I do the same thing? Let's find out. So if I go to blue, look at there, it already changed. So you can see that the banners will change to blue, okay? So that's great that we have that feature, okay? Do we have minimal? Can we do minimal instead of the default on a theme? 
What does that mean? So, for example, if I go back to the comments, notice the comments now. See how it has a little blue block and it has everything kind of smaller? It's really kind of nice, isn't it? If I change the brand to default, see how that goes back and forth? So on the free account, I can still change themes, still able to do that. I can do the same thing over on um, the paid for account as well. I can do the same thing. So that's, that's that feature. What about a logo? Okay, I do have the uh, watermark powered by StreamYard. What about uploading? Aha, customize your logo. The StreamYard logo is added to all broadcasts on the free plan. If you'd like to remove it or replace it with your own logo, check out the upgraded plans. There, you have to use the StreamYard logo that's up in the top. Whereas over here, I can have the tinkering circle, I can have the tinkering square, can put the duck up there if I want <laughs> I can upload more so there's a paid for feature on that particular thing on the paid for account overlays comes with an overlay here okay let me uh, turn this comment off just so it's not distracting and out of the way I'll do it on both of them so I come up to comments and I change that okay so back to brand we're on the brand tab over here on the right I can add an overlay can I upload an overlay the free plan comes with one example overlay. If you'd like to upload your own images and videos, check out our upgraded plan. So you'd have to get an upgrade in order to get logos, I mean, uh, excuse me, overlays and that kind of stuff. And you can see I've done, we have our tinkering show. So when I play that, let me see how it comes on and it plays. You see that and have that. Okay, so you can upload different ones. And this overlay, obviously you can't use it because it's a paid for thing. Backgrounds, okay. Again, the free plan comes with one example background. If you'd like to use your own custom backgrounds, then that's going to change things up. So if I have, for example, if I do this, if I have the, oops, if I have that, okay, and I have the same thing over here, bring it up on this side. If you notice I have this background, if I put the yellow background, see how I have a different backgrounds? I can put, that's what they're talking about, the backgrounds back behind the scenes that are going on. So I can have these different background showing over here I can't I just have the custom background that's sh that's given and it has like a you can see the kind of like I think it's like a maple leaf or something under there like that that's what you get when you have paid for account so we have you can show display display name so if it's just me in here if I just go to boom I can show my name or not you see in the bottom corner we can do the same thing over here if I want to do that on this one, I have the name or I don't, I can put whatever I want. So that's it. So those are the features and things that you get paid version, non-paid version. It's a great way to test and see what you want, what you need out of it. And you can add comments right to your stream straight from this point. It says comments on YouTube, boom, comments on YouTube, both of them. That is the main differences. Now this is July 12th, okay, July 12th, 2019. This is what they have as far as upgrades and what we have for that. That's the differences, the main differences in StreamYard free and StreamYard paid for. If you see any other things that I missed, please feel free to add something into the comments. If you felt like this was helpful to you and you want to see other videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out these other two videos that I'll put up here and you can check those out at any time. I uh, hope this was helpful and happy streaming.